Today at one, we are live in Ukraine, where it's hoped that a fresh ceasefire will allow more civilians to flee from besieged cities to relative safety. Up to 7,000 people have left the city of Sumy over the last 24 hours, and humanitarian corridors will be in place there and in four other cities where previous efforts have failed. Every day is worse and worse. They are making it worse for civilians. And we need, every day is, can be the last for, for, for our relatives left behind. Shelling and fighting is continuing, but Ukraine claims Russia's military advance has slowed. The Kremlin says the US has declared economic war on Russia, following bans on the imports of oil. The Prime Minister says the number of Ukrainian refugees being granted visas to the UK will rise sharply, up to the hundreds and thousands. We understand how much refugees have to give to this country and we understand how much this country has to gain from welcoming refugees. And we will be generous and we are being generous, Mr Speaker. And the other main stories this lunchtime. New figures show almost two million children have regularly been missing school in England. And the wreck of Sir Ernest Shackleton's ship, the Endurance, is discovered more than a century after it sank off Antarctica. I've been excavating, surveying, evaluating wrecks since I was, you know, since my mid twenties. Uh, but I've never, ever seen a wreck anything like as beautiful and as inspiring as this one. And stay with us on BBC News for continuing coverage and analysis from our team of correspondents in the UK and around the world. Good afternoon from Lviv on day 14 of the war here in Ukraine, where a fresh ceasefire is expected to allow more civilians to flee to relative safety via humanitarian corridors out of besieged cities. This map shows the areas here in solid red, which are under Russian military control. The striped areas show Rus Russian advances. Some 7,000 people were evacuated from the city of Sumy in the northeast yesterday. The city has seen fierce Russian bombardment for days. Russian state media said that humanitarian routes will also be set up for Kyiv, Chernihiv, Kharkiv and Mariupol. While the number of refugees crossing Ukraine's borders into neighbouring countries keeps rising, with the United Nations now saying that more than two million people have fled Ukraine. James Waterhouse has sent our first report from Kyiv. <laughs> 